Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to TerraTech with me, Lathrex. And of course, welcome back at long last to the campaign itself. In today's video, we have one very simple and very fun goal, and that is to make as many corpses as possible. Today is all about salvaging the enemies and hopefully getting enough resources that very soon, hopefully in the next video, we can build our sky base in the campaign. It turns out it was way more expensive than I originally thought, and I'm so glad I stopped building where I did because it's going to be horrendous to get enough resources to craft all the items to build that thing. So today, all we're focusing on is leveling up Hawkeye, Venture, and Geocorp in terms of our experience and trying to kill as many techs as possible. And because of that, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using these lovely weapons. Ones which I honestly thought I would have used way more by now, but for some reason I just keep on forgetting about. We have the Better Future Cyber Disk Laser, and its smaller variants. Now, sadly, these are a little bit weird when it comes to damaging enemies. For some reason, if they get too close, the laser simply doesn't hit the enemy. It seems to go through them. It doesn't seem to be intentional. I've tested it out a lot in the R&D mode, and it seems to be reliable, but a little bit just broken. It doesn't seem to be like that is how it's meant to work, hence the whole not intentional thing. But still, as long as you stay at a decent range from the enemy, it still works fine. And the main reason to use these is that they ignore shields, and they are pinpoint accurate. They'll go straight for the cab and very quickly destroy the tech without destroying too many blocks. Our lovely drone here, despite being incredibly effective, is the opposite of this. These weapons are incredibly inaccurate and you end up destroying almost all of the tech before their cab is destroyed. So what we're going to do is we're going to build either a hovercraft or a ground vehicle and we're going to be using the disc lasers. Now the question is, how many hovers do I have access to? Lots of the regular ones, not so many of the flippers which is a shame because they are really really good to use. But still, we should have enough, so maybe I will build a hover. My original intention was going to be a ground vehicle, but it seems like the hover might be a better option. Though saying that, a ground vehicle can have way more batteries, which is nice because we're going to be very close to the enemies in order to use these lasers. Either way, I've been waffling far too much already. Let's get to work. Also, the paint mode is awesome. Okay, so we have the ability to turn incredibly quickly. A decent speed, though not too quick, which is a bit annoying, but still that's fine. We can always add more stuff to increase the speed later. Loads of battery power, including some Hawkeye batteries and loads of the regular GSO, because that's what we have available. Okay, that's not looking too bad. So what we need to do now is armor up the front, add the weapons, and try to make this look somewhat presentable. And by doing that as well, we can add some of the Geocorp batteries as well. Once again, because we have them. It's both a scrapper, and it looks pretty scrappy. Shouldn't be happy with that, but I really am. Now let's have a look-see. How's this going to look? Well, it blends better, at least. Running out of things to add to this. So it turns out they no longer ignore shields, but that was beautiful. Did I manage to kill the cab? Not quite. Even on smaller targets, quite a lot of the corpse remains. Just need to finish off the back section of this thing. Okay, still fairly nimble. Decent speed, at least when the boosters are on. And capable of very quickly killing things, which, let's face it, is kind of the whole point. Not exactly going to win any awards for being pretty, but none of my creations normally do, so I'm fine with that. And it's not a permanent build anyway. No context. So, a fair bit into the future here, I've completed quite a few missions, but sadly all the basic missions where it's just go and collect a crate. And I now have the Better Future Plasma Thrower, and we have access to the Claw Plasma Cutter. Hopefully I'll get a second soon, so I can make this symmetrical once again, which will be very, very nice indeed. What I'm hoping to find 
is some missions which are just basically go and kill things. Because right now we have the Black Op Fallen Empire. Kill 20 techs. But I keep on getting missions which aren't related to destroying anything, which is really annoying. I might leave this area. Although this tech deals with hills much better than I expected. In fact, it deals with them very, very well, as you can see. It's still a bit annoying. Makes me miss the drone too much. Hello there. Okay, it's going to melt through you. Goodbye. And goodbye. Absolutely love these lasers to bits. They're a bit loud, which is annoying, but other than that, love them. No. Yes. Still really want the mobile SCU, though. So I'll do this mission, then I'll go somewhere else, maybe some salt flats or something. Excuse me, sir. Goodbye. And in this crate we have... Nothing really of use, but still. We have corpse. Delicious, delicious corpse. Wow, you're brave. Dead, but brave. Really considering adding some gyroscopes to this thing. Although it does deal with hills very well, and is actually one of the better controlling vehicles I've ever built, which is weird. It does want to roll over too much when it bounces, because it's a bit top, well, very top heavy. Oh, hello. And goodbye. It's been a while since I've seen a trading post. Three, two, one. Invasion! You again! Well, it kept on trying to fight. That's almost sweet in a way. These lasers are much better than I remember them being. Salt flats to the right, and finally, a trading post. Hello there. Lovely. Fighting. Something else, and we might as well grab that one. Well, this should be the best one. Destroy enemy army. Hello. And pop. Okay, incoming. Bank of Joe. Come on. Oh, I see. It's being powered up by the center. So I really should have gone for the center first. Yeah, that would have made life a lot easier for me. Oh, incoming more. Throw down the anchors, because why not? Um, okay. Seems like we finished off the Hawkeye one, which is great. Slowly burning away. Oh no, all the stuff! The corpses! Whoa! He really detonated. Quite small enemies so far. I'm actually a bit disappointed. I wanted to test this thing out a little bit more. So naturally I keep on trying to anchor. Nope, stop anchoring. Just for the rest of this fight. Okay. There we are. Next. I can see why there were small techs. So many of them. Wow, this is a serious graveyard. There goes you, there goes you, there goes you! That was beautiful! And we're done. Fantastic. <gasps> Ooh, a cannon! And missiles. But I promised I wouldn't use them. 
that overly dramatic way that I reacted to the cannon, though. I'm not a good actor. This is why I can't play games unless I'm actively having fun, because I just don't come across as genuine unless I am actually having fun. Thankfully, I am currently having a lot of fun. Lasers. As much as that ground vehicle is fun to use, if I need to travel a long distance, the drone still definitely wins. By quite a long shot. It turns out over here, I'd accidentally left a tiny aircraft, so I went back and quickly scrapped it. So now returning to the mission area. I was so wrong about Antigrav on that note. When it first came out, I was not all that thrilled by it. It seemed like a fun, gimmicky kind of thing, but now it seems like it's very viable for permanent craft. I will defend you, little tech. Okay, there goes your shield. So naturally, I'm going to swap targets then as soon as you're vulnerable because I have the tactics. Just lulling you into a full sense of security. From an outsider's perspective, I may be seemingly a dum-dum. But as we know, I am not. I am many dum-dums combined. And now we just wait. Okay, we just finished there. We ended up getting one more Bertha Cannon, and I've realized something. What I would really love to see in Terratech is a proper armor system. It really feels like as soon as your shields are down, you've pretty much lost any fight. Now, thankfully with these lasers, that's not exactly true because these really punish if you've put your cab in a quite vulnerable position. But even so, as soon as the shields are down and you're losing components, the chance of you winning is so, so slim. Any real armor would make me very, very happy. Oh, that was already correct. Okay, good. Lovely. Onwards! So, maybe I should have actually read this before. So, with the learning to fly, it actually gives you a tech. Which means this will be a very easy way to get a few parts. Hello there, Venture. Hello, Susie. Lovely. I'll just anchor this down here. Grab this. Oop. Kind of just ignoring what Susie was saying there, basically. Look, it's a plane you can fly. This thing really noses up. Was that it? Ah, that was nice. How long until Lathrox breaks the tech? Moments. Yeah, that is really difficult to control when it comes to pitch. Ooh, lovely. But still, nice, easy to use flying tech, even if pitch is a little bit of its weak point. And there we are. Just like real life for me at the moment. I feel like this video is all over the place. Every time I've tried to do something, I've just veered off horribly and then just ended up doing something completely random. So, let's focus on getting to at least level 3 venture before the end of the video. Just because real life is weird at the moment doesn't mean our lasery lovely tech videos need to be weird as well. Well, I guess they need to be weird, but weird in a good way. Hello. Pop. And wait for it. Pop. And then... We need to move backwards. Why did I even anchor? It's not daylight yet. Well, there's me trying to get solar power in the middle of the night. I am a smart person! Well, that was easy. And now we devour our allies. Lovely. Oh, hello, we now have the Sonic Lance. Lovely. And we have some missiles, which we're not allowed to use. Fine. Look at all those lovely, lovely corpse blocks. 
We are now very, very close to having enough stuff to make our sky base. Okay, let's see if we can do this. So the idea is we have to jump from this ramp over to the next. The problem is beforehand, all of the thrusters are at the top. So if we tried to make the jump, we would end up just nose diving and hitting the other ramp right in the face. So instead, let's see if we can put some more of these at the bottom. Where are you? There we are. And see if this will work. Yes, yes, it will. Lovely. And we get a few flying parts. So, nice. And we're getting close to level 3 with Venture. Lovely. Let's just continue doing Venture missions. Ignoring that mission, I'm afraid. I'm after catch me if you can. Hello. I'm assuming I'm after you. Yeah, something tells me I'll catch up with you. Boom. <laughs> well, that was an easy venture mission. Lovely. Excuse me. You stole my crate. Therefore, lasers to the face. Sorry, Joey Joe. I do love these. But, yeah, that's going to be scrapped. I love you, but I gotta scrap you. So this next mission is going to be quite difficult, because I need to target these techs in the air, but these lasers don't target airborne units very well, and they definitely have missiles. I ran past them briefly and almost died, so... What do I do about this? I mean, I could place them on their side, I guess? Yeah, let's do that. So, before we attack them, let's quickly just do this. So, throw one of you there, one of you there. Because it feels weird to not completely paint them correctly. There we are. You go there, you go there. Doesn't really matter which way they're facing right now. Well, I guess it's better if they face either forwards or upwards. Excuse me, mate. Whoa. You just popped. I'm guessing you had your cab right at the front. <laughs> All that build-up saying how difficult these were, and they just explode upon the slightest bit of force. Oh, was that what I think it was? <laughs> we have the anti-gravity gun, lads. Yep. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. We actually have this now in the campaign. Well, I do need to build with that soon. I, I, I did promise I would build with that. So it's lovely to see we have it in the campaign. Either way, let's put our lasers back where they were. Lovely. Let's collect all the corpse pieces. Invasion in 15 seconds. Let's see if this is just the same as all the other invasions and it's the exact same tech again. Also, having two of these sky anchors means that despite the fact I can move, it's very difficult to do so. Yep, it's exactly the same again. I have killed so many of these mobile factories, it's a little bit ridiculous now. And they always stop fighting back. Oh no, never mind, this one is actually fighting, and there it goes. More corpses for the corpse heap. So many ion drives makes this craft incredibly quick. Hello there, spy. Almost there. Come on, let's get to at least rank three. Will this ever be fixed? The Vibroblade. Looks awesome. Doesn't really work. Actually, this looks odd. Also, when did I lose my front? 
I'm assuming that was the missiles. Either the missiles or I completely missed something. But yeah, we've lost the front. We've actually lost one of our weapons. Thankfully, we have spare. In fact, we now have more of these cyber disclizers if we wanted to use them. So, no big deal there, I suppose. There we are. Lovely. Yep. Look, there's a delivery crate. I wonder if this is a trap. Oh boy, it was a trap. Who would have thought? So much ice. Excuse me, lads. I can hardly move right now. Having no weapons on the back makes this incredibly vulnerable. To be fair, though, normally I can turn very well just whilst we're on ice. A bit slidey. There we are. Just boring through there. Where's your cab? Lovely. Rank three. There we are. We do need the Hawkeye Scrapper and we do need the Venture Scrapper. I don't have either yet, so hopefully we'll get those soon. So most likely, what I'm going to do soon is, once I get grade 3 and everything, I'm just going to stop the recording because at this point we're just doing the same things over and over again until I get those. Then, I can start scrapping all the items and making the better future blocks because the only blocks I really need from the other corporations are just the Scrappers. So we may as well just get them from crates. Lovely. Cut down trees. Oh, I would never do that. Finally, there we are. Out of the ice, into the desert. So, I just went ahead and completed two more of the venture missions, the missions in which all we have to do is find a crate, and there we go, we are now at rank 3. So with that, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's video. If you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff, helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that TerraTech is a series you wish to see continued in the future. In the next episode, hopefully I'll be a bit less disjointed and more goal-focused, and we will be building the Sky Base. And, of course, scrapping all of the lovely, lovely corpses. Now, off camera, I'm going to go ahead and do a few more missions for Venture, just to make sure we have all the items from Venture we need, so we don't need to mess around with that fabricator, or at least not too much, and we can focus almost solely on the better future stuff. Hopefully, as well, next episode, I'll be a bit less sleep-deprived. So, thank you so, so much for watching. Hopefully, the next video will be out a lot sooner than this video was out after the last video, and I hope to see you soon. Now, to get some sleep. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. Also, this vehicle, it may look terrible, but it is so fun to use, and I am so happy how it turned out. I will be adding it to the permanent vehicles we're going to be using in the campaign, because it's just really good. Horrible looking, but really good. Goodbye.